Hi everyone, it's Connor here from Go Games, and I have a tutorial for you today, uh, which has been requested by quite a few people, including my friend Josh, who has also requested for me to say hello to him. So hello, Josh. Um, basically, this tutorial is going to show you how to legally download Minecraft. Now I don't know why my computer has just gone in the map, but yeah. Um, so people. I've asked me how to legally download it, like pay for it, download it, and just play it. Um, so if you're expecting me to show you how to get it for free, one, I'm not, and two, we'd probably get kicked off of YouTube for it. So yeah, I'm just going to show you a safe way. So first of all, open up your internet browser. Mine is Internet Explorer. Let it take centuries to load. And come on yes 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 thank you right so you want to go to google and type in minecraft or just go to www.minecraft.net hit enter and you have the minecraft homepage now you either want to log in or register so if you have an account just log in if you don't click register I do so basically I will just show you how to you know use it and all that sort of stuff set up and whatever so enter a username and display name so basically that's just going to be your username for the game so I'm just going to say go games email um, just use our email address um, you will need an email address so you can validate your account. Um, then you will need a password. And then once you are done, you just click submit query. Now, even though it says submit query, it do, it still does create your account. Don't worry, they don't have to process it or anything. So I'm not going to create an account because one I already have one and two I don't want to pay for the game again. So then once you have registered and gone to your emails and validated the account or you know unlocked it or however you want to put it you need to go back to Minecraft and click the buy now button. Now here if you are logged in it will ask you to either download it to this account or send it to another account you want to download it to this account obviously um, unless you're nice and want to buy it for your friends as well um, basically I will walk you through the payment process you will need a debit or credit card and basically it will come up with a screen asking you which card you have uh, don't worry, this is all like verifying secure, so don't worry about fraud or anything or anything that could possibly happen. Um, I use my card, so yeah, that's a bit bad luck if I do get fraud um, or anything like that. Um, basically, put your card type in, like if you're in the UK, you've got things like Visa, MasterCard, Solo, Switch, Maestro, all of them. Um, so you select that, then it will come up with another screen asking you to enter the credit card number, expiration date, um, your full name and the security code on the back of the card. Then after that, if I can remember rightly, it will come up with your bank's security system. Um, so basically my bank is Santander, so I have to enter my Santander secure number. Um, it will ask you for certain digits of your password. If you haven't already created one, you can. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for paying. So this is where people get confused. They've paid for the game and then nothing comes up to download. Which people think would. So instead, it will redirect you back to the home page and you have to click below play minecraft download and you download minecraft for windows 
or Mac or Linux you just click show all platforms um, so then it will come up with this down here if you have Internet Explorer 8 sorry 9 um, if you have Internet Explorer 8 or below it will come up with a little dialog box in the middle of the window um, if you have any other internet browsers I don't know how they work I've not used them before so what you want to do is you don't want to click run instead you want to click save save as and I advise saving it to your desktop because then well, you just got a link to it from the desktop so name it Minecraft which it already is and then just click save I've already got it so I'm just going to click cancel and you will now notice it is on your desktop there you go so when it comes to playing Minecraft you double click it by the way I'm not this boring I don't have a plain blue background I just removed the image for copyright reasons so in case you're wondering yeah I do have a background picture oh, come on load yeah you do notice sometimes Minecraft will take a couple of seconds to load um, here we go and it's open too because I double clicked it twice so it comes up with this Minecraft launcher it will ask you to put your username and password in this is my personal one and click login and here you go it will load up Minecraft and here you have the single player multiplayer texture packs and options I don't know what that one is and quick game. Let's hang on a minute, let's see what it is. Oh, it's language. Okay, um, options. You want to try and make it so that it will run on your computer. Um, so that it won't crash or be really slow or anything. Um, also, it is best to have uh, Java 64 bit. Um, because then you can have your video settings on render distance as far. I've got mine on normal. Um, simply because far I do think slows it down a bit. So.